in our second learning outcome, we will look at what will happen when the electron transport chain is inhibited by poisonous compounds such as cyanide and carbon monoxide. Well, the answer is pretty obvious because when the ETC is being inhibited, you will stop getting electrons from either the NADH or FADH2 or both. So carbon monoxide and cyanide are the examples of chemical compounds that can block the transfer of electrons from complex 4 to oxygen molecule, which is the final electron acceptor. And this happens, ATP production ceases, and cell death could occur very rapidly. So for example, if a 70 kg adult consumes 0.3 gram of potassium cyanide, the mortality rate within 3 days is 50%. And if one consumes up to 0.55 gram, then the mortality rate is over 90%. So just to put it into perspective, 0.5 gram is roughly the size of a 500 milligram vitamin C. So it is very toxic. There are also other types of inhibitors that can block the complex 5 or the ATP synthase, such as oligomycin and dinitrophenol. As a result, you'll get zero. ATP production. This is what happens when you have either cyanide or carbon monoxide in your electron transport chain. As both compounds can block your complex 4, you will get no electron transport from complex 4 into the oxygen. With that, the whole electron transport series is being clogged. As a consequence, there will be no ATP production subsequently. As for oligomycin, it will block your complex 5, which is ATP synthase. As a result, you will get no ATP production. How about dinitrophenol? Well, it is also known as an uncoupler because with the presence of DMP, proton can now bypass ATP synthase by going through the DMP. With that, you will get less ATP production. Okay, it is all about the second learning outcome and you can find a summary within this table.